We're in the final stages of the commencement program uh, where the honorary degrees are being presented. This is Boston's Mayor Thomas Menino uh, receiving his honorary degree. Uh, the following uh, clips are of Oprah and her participation in the commencement ceremonies and the uh, presentation by the Harvard Provost of her honorary degree uh, by Harvard University this May 30th, 2013. Our final guest is a movie producer. And if someone had come to her as a producer to pitch a script based on her own life story, she might understandably have dismissed it as improbable beyond belief. She spent her early childhood on a small pig farm in rural Mississippi, reared by her grandmother. Her preteen and early teenage years in Milwaukee brought poverty, abuse, and personal tragedy. But she did far more than persevere. By her late teens, she had been crowned Miss Black Tennessee and earned a scholarship to Tennessee State. By 22, she was co-hosting a television talk show in Baltimore. She recalls that its premiere featured her interview with the Carvel Ice Cream Man. <laughs> In 1984, she moved to Chicago and began hosting the daytime show that soon took her name. It went into national syndication and in time became the most watched and most Emmy awarded program of its kind in American television history. Today, she is one of the most admired and influential people in the world. Her celebrated talk show, ran for 25 years and reached a vast international audience. She has launched a magazine, a radio channel, and a cable network. She has produced movies, TV programs, and a Broadway show. She has led a worldwide book club and championed the importance and the pleasure of reading. She has established herself as one of the savviest and most successful entrepreneurs of our time. She is also a renowned philanthropist whose public and private charities have benefited women, children, and families around the world. She has been an especially devoted supporter of education. generously funding scholarships and schools and founding a leadership academy for girls in South Africa. No one has done more to encourage Americans to read, says one admirer, and no one has better exemplified the responsible use of commercial success and philanthropic resources. When she started out in Chicago, her audience was so thin that people had to be pulled in off the street and bribed with coffee and donuts in order to pull to fill the seats. Looking out from the stage, I think we can fairly conclude that this is yet another obstacle she has managed to overcome. <laughs> More than 40 years since she was crowned Miss Fire Prevention of Nashville, Tennessee. In the land of the Grand Ole Opry, we proudly honor Oprah Thank you. 